Christopher, tell me about yeah. your um, your upbringing in Donegal and and your uh, obviously sports was a big part of your life. But but what was it like in in Valley Buffet? It's clearly a long way from from Tennessee, mm -hmm. Alabama, which is where you've spent some time. So mm -hmm. what's what was that like for you growing up? Well, growing up, I'd done a range of sports. I get on soccer, boxing, Gaelic, the works, you know, just as a normal Irish boy, you know, growing up. And when I got to 16, it was thinking then I was looking between Gaelic and athletics. And that was a really big decision for me because I could have went on, hopefully, and played for Donegal, but then had this different opportunity that I didn't really know what to expect because not a lot of people have done it before and I hadn't heard much from it. So I was out running one time over at my club here, it's just over the bridge, and I was out running with this fella, and he's a bit older, he'd be about in his 50s or 60s, but he was still right. running away, and he was just telling me that, I was telling him, as I'm saying to you now, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, mm. and he says, well, when I was your age, I was running about the same times as yourself, and I had an opportunity to go to America, and I never yeah. did, I never took it, and he says, to this day, that's the biggest regret of his life. Wow. And now that man has stopped running and I'm still here and so is everyone else. But mm. just from that one conversation, it honestly made me think, right, I'm going to I'm going to go for this. This is it. 